Hello, today's devotional can be found in Lamentations chapter 4, verse 7. Her Nazarites were purer than snow, they were whiter than milk. They were more ruddy in body than rubies. Their polishing was of sapphire. Okay, so. How do we think of ourselves? Do we think of ourselves as beautiful both physically and spiritually? Or do we allow the world to judge us and our physical beauty so much that we think of ourselves as less than good enough? Because let me tell you, the world is temporal. The world as we know it is temporal and it will not be here forever. Nor will everybody as we know them, or everything as we know them. All things are temporal, even life. As we know it is temporal. Mortality will not last. Because mortality is a time where we learn and grow. And as mortals, we tend to judge one another quite a bit about our appearances and about our accomplishments. And we shouldn't, but we do. And people judge others on how beautiful they are physically. Instead of looking on the heart, which is what the Lord does. If more people looked on each other's hearts, there would be less judgment and condemnation. Because people will grow old, beauty will fade. But the heart and that which is inside of you will always remain, if you choose it to. Because no matter how beautiful a person may be on the outside, if they have done less than desirable things with their life, they are not so beautiful on the inside because they are carrying the memory of those sins and the consequences of those sins because not everybody knows the needfulness to repent not everybody cares either we shouldn't be afraid to teach others the the nature of repentance and how important it is because The Lord looks upon the heart and he sees the love that people have. And everyone has a love of a different thing. Some has, have a love for that which is purely temporal. And some have a love for that which is spiritual. If we focus on the love for the temporal things solely, then that is what sh we shall receive. And we shall not have the spiritual things. I mean, we need a balance. Because we're in mortality right now, we do need to have a certain amount of focus on getting by and surviving in the temporal world and doing all that we can to bring peace, unity, and inspiration unto our fellow man through the Spirit of God. And only by the Spirit of God, because without the Spirit of God we cannot begin to teach those things. And we also need to be invested spiritually, because our, our mortality is temporal, but there is life beyond this life and death. And we shouldn't be afraid to acknowledge that because people just don't die and that's it. People will be given a chance at greater joy than they could ever imagine if they so choose to wish it. And it is not something to take lightly because eternity still consists of work. 
much work. And there is always much worse to be done even now. So we shouldn't focus on that which does not matter because there is so much more that does matter that we only have very lim limited time to do. The Lord will truly show us what we are meant to do if we are willing to listen. What we are meant to do and what we are meant to be. And we should not be afraid to trust the Lord because tr in trusting the Lord you can never go wrong. In trusting yourself you can always go wrong. But if you have the Lord, he will help you to trust yourself in a way that is safe and secure. He will help us to help you to see his hand that you might be able to see and maybe be have a hand in many mighty miracles that you might not otherwise have seen or had a hand in. But it is our choice. We can be of the world or we can be of God and live in the world and do things guided by his hand. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.